I can't. Imagine paying thousands of dollars for your dream vacation only to never leave the couch. That's the reality for at least three Grand Strand women. Our Michaela Evans joins us live in studio walking us through what happened. Michaela, good morning. Hey, girl. Lauren, a luxury trip ended up being a trip to the police department after the women found out their dream vacations ended up being just that, a dream. A five-day Disney cruise during Christmas sounds like the ultimate gift from Santa, and that's what Tanasia Geddes wanted to gift her three kids. We're going to Disney. They watching YouTube videos. What we going to do? Gaddy says she found the perfect deal when she discovered travel agent Chantel Roberts and her company Triple I promise you I will not be doing any traveling through Chantel Roberts on the picture alone, child. I mean, I do it myself, but ain't no way I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get Chantel Roberts with a picture. This is supposed to be a professional picture to do my daggone vacations, child, but that's just me a travel services advertising the vacation for five thousand dollars i initially started paying two ninety dollars a month because it was just me and my kids and then when i thought about it when i researched more let me take my mother with me to help me with the kids so then the payments went to 315 a month but gaddy says a, a post from another woman shaniqua carr Shaniqua. tipped her off that she possibly wasn't going to the happiest place on earth even though receipts show she paid roberts almost three grand i slid up and i asked her i was like are you talking about chantelle don't tell me that girl i snapchatted it and i put it on my story i was like triple a travel zero stars would not recommend the women connected online where car told gaddy's about her experience and encouraged gaddy's to ask roberts for her reservation number Gaddy's got the number and called Disney to confirm, only to learn. She looked under my name, Chantel's name, the travel agent that she used. Long story short, not exist and don't exist. Carr shared a similar story. She wanted to take her daughter on a graduation trip to Bali, Indonesia in June 2024. So I'm like, this is a, can be our little bonding time before you, you know, your senior year, go off to college. So we'll do this together. So we were excited. Car's receipts also show she paid five grand with a debit card in April, but decided to pull the plug 10 days before her vacation when she says Roberts provided her with no itinerary. So I sent her a text. The I, I get the itinerary before I even go and make any purchase. But then again, I'm the one that does it my damn self. I'm about to be a travel agent, all right? So y'all need to book some daggone travel. Come holla at me. Only for cruising, though. Only for cruising. Child, this sounds crazy. This sounds crazy. <sighs> so, uh, I noticed they all got something in common, child, but let me digress. Next morning, I said, just please cancel my trip. I said, you don't have anything together. I have no no official confirmations of anything. Myrtle Beach mother Andalique West also saw Carr's Snapchat post and realized she too had no details confirmed. She confronted Roberts in June about her trip that month to Jamaica. I still hadn't had an itinerary. I still had Who needs a damn travel agent to get to Jamaica? <laughs> no offense against Jamaica. I love me some Jamaica. Jamaican people in the Caribbean, you know I do. But who needs to get anyone to do anything for you for damn Jamaica? Does Expedia not exist for these people? Does 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 direct booking? What is it? Remember that song? Shout out to Generation X. Uh, how did it go? Come back to Jamaica, your new island home. I know I can't sing, but I know y'all remember that song. For forever. That song has been out since I was a child. I remember it. Y'all sitting up here using a travel agent for uh, booking a trip to Jamaica and Disney. Why wouldn't you go to Disney.com? Disney.com, it works. This is crazy. I hadn't had my flights or anything. I, I started to get a little nervous. All three women say they've paid Roberts more than $10,000 combined, but have not been able to get a hold of Roberts or help from their banks. Ew. Left her a voicemail and she never returned my phone calls. I guess she realized that I knew at that point and uh, haven't heard from her since. The AAA Travel Services website where the women made some of their payments no longer exists. And a search oh. on South Carolina Secretary of State's website shows AAA Travel Services, not a licensed company. Oh. The women filed reports with multiple agencies, including the Federal Trade Commission, the FBI, Horry County Police, and both the Georgetown and Richland County Sheriff's offices. They're now hoping banding together will compel law enforcement to take action. I feel like it's a four Child, what the hell are they going to do? They're going 
give you a police report and you better go to your daggone bank. That's all you got. Go First of all, I'm using credit card for everything. Everything you heard, let them deal with it. <laughs> Listen, I'm disputing this shit. You deal with it. And that's that, right? That's why I use credit. That's why I use credit cards, okay? Even if you went through your debit card, because it sounded like one of them did, tell your damn bank. They, they got to look at it. What are we talking about right now? The police ain't going to... Y'all don't even like the oppressor. Y'all don't even like the oppressor. I'm confused. You th- what do you think they're going to do? We're going to band together and, and do what? Make one complaint at the same time? They're going to be like, take this damn police report and carry your ass to your damn bank, child. I can't. This I. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Listen. Listen, as a person who's been in finance for 20 years, these stories like this tell me that you coloreds need help with your finances, finance, checking, credit, all that type stuff, because you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Sorry that they didn't have an economics or uh, a finance class in, in high school or something, child. Sorry that your mama didn't teach you how to balance a checkbook. Shout out to X again. You remember balancing a checkbook? My mother taught me how to balance a checkbook, right? First, it was a savings account, right? Because I was supposed to take any money I got and put it in my savings account, which was crazy. And then I had to write in how much the deposit was so that I see how a ledger works. And then every time I took out, because all I did was take out uh, withdrawals from the Mac machine when I went to the mall. And then she's like, add in what you take, deduct what you take out. And then if there's a fee, make sure you deduct the fee. A fee? What? (laughs) <laughs> then you had to, if you bought anything, cause you could rarely buy something with a, um, with a Mac card. Cause it wasn't no debit cards then, but yeah, she would be checking it and be like, how you come up negative? You didn't write something down. I was like, damn, leave me alone. Then I went up to a checking account, had to do the same thing. Keep never go to your savings account, child. Mm, mm, mm. Shout out to my mother for those lessons though. <laughs> Because you can relate. Admit it. You know you can relate. I don't know how old you are, but come on now. Did y'all's mamas do that to y'all too, child? X generation, come on. You know that going well. You had that that stupid ledger that you had to walk. The the container or the holder, the folder of it, whatever it is, it was blue and ugly and plastic or black and plastic. And then you stuck the back part into the plastic that always um ripped. <laughs> Right? Then you had to write all in small writing with a pen and you would mess up. Woo! Lord, Lord, Lord. An easier time. Shout out to us. Mm, mm, mm. Force and numbers. And the more people that stick together, the better chances we are to get injustice. Oh, okay. But again, trying to support family, trying to support and, you know, get her some business. Tiffany Eldermore says in June of last year, she convinced 14 girlfriends to book a July 2024 vacation to Jamaica. Pause. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 13, wait, 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 where is it at? Child. Record show. $1,350 to go to Jamaica. $1,350 per person. Only $125... Where the calculator at, y'all? Where is the calculator at? Where my calculator at? Let me see. Thirteen fifty divided by one twenty-five equals almost eleven months that you had to pay for this damn vacation, child. Take this damn credit card and go ahead and charge that shit. Ain't nobody got time for this. This is crazy. You get 11 months. All right, that's fine to pay for it. Ain't that what, um, what is it called? What is it called now that they give you all these payment plans every time that you go buy something? Um, Lucarna, Florna, Klarna, something like that, child. Shout out to Alexander X in the building, a member for six. And <laughs> Good to see you. Always here supporting. He said, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Shout out to you on get into this chat because they half damn crazy. Shout out to Fit Granny in the middle. She said, the more people they have, the cheaper the trip. Thirteen fifty. I promise you, they only there for five days. <laughs> I promise you, this is only like, for thirteen fifty. I better be there for eight effing days, child. That is a lot of damn money. 
That is a lot of damn money. Even when we went on our first cruise, the total for the two of us was not even $1,300. Sheesh, that's crazy. It is all inclusive. Oh, and it does include insurance, okay? Maybe that's why. But y'all went ahead, or these women went ahead, and they wanted to help out a sister. I'm telling you that was the reason. One of them said something along that line, y'all. This is crazy. Friends, to book a July 2024 vacation to Jamaica. Their bank records show each began paying Chantel Roberts' travel agency, AAA Travel Services, more than $100 per month. But our search on the South Carolina Secretary of State's website shows AAA Travel Services is not a licensed company. Oh, so now every month, 125 125 Eldermore couldn't believe the deal. She booked another trip, a carnival cruise to celebrate her husband's birthday in April. She invited 11 friends, including some who were already paying for the Jamaica trip. Eldermore says the group made pay. She didn't got all her family and friends all hemmed up in this foolishness. It's not funny. Oh, she got them all hemmed up. Payments and believed everything to be on schedule until she called Carnival Cruise, only to find nothing in their names. I'm scared now because now I'm saying if Carnival's not booked, is Jamaica book. Eldermore's fears Ooh. came true when they double checked with their resort in Jamaica and found out they had no reservation there either. Mm. Eldermore says she confronted Roberts asking to cancel the trips and get their money back. Mm -hmm. Let's see. From Tiffany Elder to Chantel Roberts. Shan. Oh, yeah, they definitely, this was definitely some sister girl shit. Her name is Chantel. She calling her Shan. Everyone is going crazy. We are not booked for the cruise. You never reached out to me. I found out we're not booked for Jamaica per the itinerary that was made for us. The girl started reaching out to the driver in Aurora Resort in Jamaica. They said we weren't booked. Your Facebook is down and the link for the travel website is down. It looks real suspect. My number is... I'm at work right now and can only text, but I'm available tomorrow. Please call me to fix this. This is real scary. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my God. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. This is half damn crazy. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, shout out to Judge Petty. She said, listen, I went through a hurricane before in Mexico. That agency slash insurance was so worth it versus booking by yourself. They got bu buses to get us out of there. I definitely always recommend travel insurance. Um, on my, before I go on my next cruise, I'm going to just get it for the year since I go so much. But I definitely recommend um, travel insurance. But people don't be getting it. You can get it on your own. I book all of everything that I do. I book it myself. Everything that I do, I do it myself. Um, but, you know, that little button that says travel insurance is right there. Plus, there's other people, Alliance and Alliance and all these other places that you can get insurance from. People ain't trying to get no insurance. You know, you can get insurance for your, your, um, your plane. They don't be getting that either. Come on now. The only way they was going to get it on here was because it was included in the price. So honestly, why don't they just go through the um, travel insurance? See what they got. Oh, yeah, they never paid for anything. They ain't going to work. Because she took the money and ran. She says they received a partial refund, but it's been radio silence ever since. Oh, stop picking up the phone. Stop responding to text messages. It's like she went off and, 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 and she vanished. She in Bali. We emailed Chantel Roberts for comment. She responded quickly, claiming she's a victim of identity theft and advised us to contact her attorney. However, she wouldn't share her attorney's information or explain on her claims of identity theft. Eldermore and others have since filed police reports from Connecticut to South Carolina. <laughs> All right, listen, the, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Because I've lost all respect for that bitch. B-I-C-T-H. And I'm standing. We do not care.